Taking a screenshot on a computer is a great feature. However, what do you do if you need to delay the screenshot because you need to do something before you take the screenshot? On a Windows PC, you can use the snipping tool to do just that. I'll show you how to delay a screenshot today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hi, welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. I'm Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity, and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I'll teach you how to delay a screenshot on a Windows PC. The first thing you need to know is that the tool to delay a screenshot is called the snipping tool in Windows. And it's also what you would use regardless to take a screenshot, the Windows snipping tool. Whether you have Windows 10 or Windows 11, you should have the snipping tool built into your computer, and all you have to do is search for it. If you need an overview of the Windows snipping tool, I did a video for that, and so you can search for it or you can click the link above me now. The delay feature in the Windows snipping tool is very similar to if you've ever done a delay on your phone camera or a regular camera. It's that option to give yourself 5, 10, 15 seconds before the picture is taken. For the window snipping tool, I believe it's 3, 5, and 10 seconds that you can allow. An instance where I use this is when I need to do a screenshot of some instructions that I'm giving and I need to go to a menu. The menu will only show up when I'm not in another program. So I need that screenshot to be delayed so I can go into the program, click the menu, and then the screenshot can be taken. Now let's see how you can do this in the window snipping tool. First of all, you'll need to access the snipping tool. If you've never used it before, you can go to the search on your taskbar, which is this bar at the bottom. Mine is a little icon, yours may be a big white box, and you can type in snipping tool. That will bring you to this icon right here, and you can click on it, and this is what the snipping tool looks like. Again, you can look at that overview video if you need more information. You'll want to pay attention to the last time that you did a snip, if you've used this before, whether it's on video or camera, but you can do a delay for either option. The clock icon is where we can set our delay. As I said before, it's three, five, or 10 seconds. What I would recommend is have the program up that you're going to be doing the snip of, or do as much as you can in advance of doing the SNP, and that way you give yourself plenty of time because you don't have to worry about waiting for a program to load. So I'll do that now. I'm going to do a SNP in Microsoft Excel. So I'm gonna open my Microsoft Excel first, and that's loading on my other machine. And so now I have my Excel ready to go and I will be doing a snip of the Merge and Center options. But when I go away from the program, this menu goes away. So that's why I need the delay to happen so I can click on this again. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more videos? If so, click the subscribe link that's below this video. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell icon, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. I'll go back to my snipping tool. I will choose my delay. I'll choose the three second delay because it won't take me long to switch back over to Excel and click on my menu. Once I've chosen that, it will show here with the little three so you can see that you're in a delayed snip. And once you click new, the delay begins. So we'll click new. And now I can come into Excel. And you can see I didn't get to it fast enough, so I need to give myself five seconds. So I'm going to stop the snip, and then I'm gonna come back to the snipping tool, and I'm gonna try again. This time I'll switch to five seconds, so I have plenty of time. I'll click new, go over to my menu and click on that. And then here is my snipping option. And as we talk about in the overview video, you can do a rectangle, you can do a free form, you can do the entire window, or you can do 
all of your screen. And that would include if you have multiple screens, it would have all of both screens. In this case, I want to do a rectangle. So I will choose that. And then I will create my rectangle around what I want the screenshot to be. Once I let go, that goes directly into my snipping tool and I can come back over here to see what I created. One thing you want to watch for is the next time you get into your snipping tool, it will keep the delay that you had previously. So if you don't want that, you'll need to switch it back. And then if you use the shortcut to get into the snipping tool, which is the Windows key, the Shift, and S as in Sam, if you use that, it will also default to what you did previously. So just be aware that if you have a delay on there, the delay will remain. As you can see, the delay on the snipping tool is very helpful if you need to create instructions that show screenshots of the different things that you're doing, the different menus you're going to. You can even have something where you go to that menu and you hover over the item that you would select to do whatever you're teaching. That's what I use the delayed screenshot for the most. If you still feel like you need help with this or any other tech challenge, you can schedule a tech stress breakthrough call with me. You can do that by clicking the heart in the monitor that's above me now, or you can go to my website, which is gatewayproductivity.com, and click on the Let's Talk button. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.